Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be making a BLT, and if you're new to cooking, that is, stands for bacon, lettuce, tomato, and that's going to be going on a sandwich. It's going to be so delicious. Let's get to it. Alright, so the first step in this process is you're going to want to preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit, and while you're doing that, you can get your bacon ready, and so what you're going to do is you're going to take an oven pan, and you're going to put wire racks on it, and then, after you've done that, you're going to want to put your bacon on those wire racks. So I'm going to place these out and I'll show you what that's going to look like. So you can just go just sideways just like this. Just up the entire rack and just get all your bacon on this wire on these wire racks. So yeah. All right, everybody. So once you're done with putting your bacon out you can see I have it all right here. You're gonna to want to take your pan and you're gonna to want to put it into your preheated oven. Alright, so once that's in the oven, you're just gonna to want to wait for about 15 minutes or until it's fully golden brown. It's gonna be so delicious in the oven. If you do it in a pan, it'll still get cooked and it'll still be crispy. But the downside is you won't have perfectly straight pieces of bacon, which are good for a sandwich. All right, everyone, so what we can do now is we can prep our other ingredients. So we have some bread, tomato, and lettuce. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take your bread and just gonna pop in the toaster for a couple minutes or until it's nicely golden brown or at least crunchy. All right, so now you're gonna take your lettuce. I just have two pieces of lettuce right here. It's gonna be perfect for our sandwich. Now we're gonna take our tomato and we're just gonna slice that up. We can take off the top. See the stalks running through there. That'll be fine. We can get that later. We sliced up our tomato. We have our tomato ready, our lettuce ready, and now you can just wait on your bacon starting to crisp up and brown in there so yeah it's a very easy recipe doesn't take much it's three ingredients plus bread and seasoning so we have our tomato our lettuce and now all you're going to need to do is wait for the bacon to come out i forgot to mention you have to wash your lettuce so i'm going to do that real quick I'm just going to run it over under some water and then pat it dry with a towel so we can go right back here run it under some cold water and you got our thin lettuce we're going to pat it dry with our towel. You want to make sure when you're patting it dry not to break the leaves. This leaf was already broken, but it's all right. So now your lettuce has been cleaned. So as you can see here, we have all of our ingredients prepped. And now what we're going to do is we're going to want to get a plate and some paper towels. So when the bacon comes out, we can put it on there so it can drain all the grease. We got a plate with paper towel prep. And we got some more paper towels to put on top of the bacon. So now the grease is going to be able to drain properly. And now you can just wait a little bit more until the bacon comes out. Looks like our bacon is ready. So we're just going to pull this out of the oven and turn off the oven pulled the bacon out of the oven and so now what you're going to do is you're going to take your plate with your paper towel and some tongs and you're just going to carefully lift each piece of bacon it's crispy you can already feel it so you're just going to want to put this on the paper towels and after you've covered the first plate with the bacon you're what you're going to want to do is stack another paper towel on top of it and then add more bacon and so we got the bacon ready and now we're gonna finish making the sandwich it's gonna be so delicious all right everyone so the bacon is ready and so now we've got our cutting board ready so now first thing we're gonna want to do is these lettuce leaves are slightly big for our bread so we're just gonna cut off the bottoms to make them a perfect size so line them up at the top the leafy area which we want I'm just gonna cut just along that spot right there rip off this extra piece and so now you can see it's just slightly bigger than the bread, but that's going to be perfect. So now we can go away with these. And so now we have our lettuce ready and our tomatoes. And so now I'm going to take 
two slices of bacon. This bacon is perfectly cooked, as you can see. Not burnt, not too crispy, because you always want a little bit of chew, but it's gonna be nice and good. So now that we've got everything ready, we're just gonna take some, we're gonna get a few seasonings and sauces. So we're gonna get salt, pepper, chili flakes, and some mayonnaise, and this is gonna help for a perfect sandwich. And you don't need chili flakes if you don't want them, but I like it for some extra spice. So on you can go. Like this is just a normal mayonnaise, light mayo. You can go on. Just a nice amount right here on each side of your toast. And now I'm just gonna spread this out. Just Actually, I don't even need to spread it out with that. I'll show you what I'm gonna do. And then we'll take some flaky salt, go on top with that. And then some pepper, and then our chili flakes. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take both of our lettuce and we're going to put it on each side. With the lettuce, you can really just spread that around. You don't need to get a knife dirty because you can just do that. So that's going to be perfect. We have our nice crunchy romaine lettuce. And now this bacon, it's also a little long, so we're just going to cut, split this in half. Both of these pieces. We're going to go one on each side once again. And then we're going to go with tomatoes. And now on sandwiches, you always want to season your tomatoes. So what you're going to do, you're going to lay out these tomatoes. So we have a tomato we bite in the middle. This is a little thick tomato, but it's still going to be okay. So now what you're going to do with your tomatoes, so you're going to go in again with some salt. You always want to season your tomatoes a good amount. And some black pepper. And so now you can close the sandwich. And that is going to be just perfect. And cut down the middle. You can hear all the crunchy elements. And you can look right here. Do you see that cross section? It's going to be just beautiful to take a bite out of that. All right, everybody. So now we have our perfect sandwich. It's going to be so delicious. We can take the bite. It's going to be so good. This is so good. The bread, nice and crispy. Bacon, also crispy. The tomato, nice juiciness. The lettuce is perfect to help with that sauce. This is just an overall amazing sandwich. BLTs are so good. Definitely give this one a go. Oh, I got mayo, mayo all over my face. I already know. This is so delicious. Please give this one a go.